This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance or training purposes. Um, for securement training, we would just put you through our securement training. Usually it's three weeks. Um, it's hands-on in-house securement training. We'll put you up in a hotel. If you want to go home on the weekends, you can go home on the weekends since you're close. Um, first week is the securement training. Second week, you go out with the local trainer. Uh, Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call Channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at PINI Motor Express out of Ohio. They are looking for company flatbed drivers. They are known for hauling steel. Now, if you don't have experience in hauling steel, don't worry about it. They do take drivers straight out of CDL school, and they will put you through a three-week securement training. And also, drivers, if you have flatbed experience but don't have steel hauling experience, don't worry. They will continue to train you maybe a couple of weeks, probably the same amount of time, to make sure that you got the securement training down for their steel hauling uh, positions. They have local and regional routes, good home time, 100% company paid driver benefits, late model and assigned trucks, no slip seating, 401k match, minimum pay guarantee. So if you don't make that, if you don't make no money, they will give you some money. They will also start you if you don't have steel hauling experience. You will start off at a percentage. We talked about that percentage. It's kind of good, kind of low if it's low for you, but you got to understand you don't have no steel hauling experience. So you're going to have to accept what they got, okay? Seven paid holidays and paid vacations. But how much experience do you guys require all together well we hire directly out of truck driving school so okay um yeah how much steel hauling experience do you have well yeah that part um not that much um i will probably need uh maybe some training on uh steel okay. hauling so uh, that wouldn't be too much of a problem of me getting that. No, so we would have you. You'd have to come to Majory, Ohio, which is like a nor- little bit north of Youngstown, um, for securement training. We would just put you through our securement training. Usually, it's three weeks. Um, it's hands-on in-house securement training. We'll put you up in a hotel if you want to go home on the weekends. You can go home on the weekends since you're close. Um, first week is the securement training. Second week, you go out with the local trainer. Uh, that way you go back to the hotel every day. You don't sleep in the truck with somebody that you don't know. And by the end of the third week, you have your truck and your trailer assigned. And we have a terminal right out of Cleveland that you could park and run out of. What's your drug screening? Is it hair follicles or urine or both? Urine. Urine. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? As long as your follow-ups are completed. If they have steel hauling experience and they're considered an experienced driver, then possibly, depending on what they tested positive for, it could just be the return to duty needs done. So, I mean, it's, it's case by case, basically. They just they would have to call and talk to me. I will be running out of Cleveland. Uh, would there mm-hmm. be other lanes that I'll be running out of? Do you guys run out of Canada? So, not really. So, basically, with how we run, you'll say you get dispatched out of Cleveland to, say, you go to Chicago. Once you do your delivery in Chicago, then you would contact the dispatch out there, and they would get you a lo- your next load. Say if, say that one went to Pittsburgh. Then once you get to Pittsburgh, you do your delivery. You get Then you call the dispatcher there. So you talk to the dispatcher in the region that you're at, and you actually talk to a person. We don't do anything through a Qualcomm or anything like that. That way there's no miscommunication, and everybody is on the same page. I won't have a particular dispatcher that I will talk to directly for myself, or this will be like multiple dispatchers dispatchers in each region that I will go. So you'd have your main contact 
at your home terminal, like you could, like Bob would be your home, your home terminal. But when you're getting your dis, your loads, then you would just call to get your loads from the other dispatchers. Uh, do you guys do mileage pay, percentage pay, and is it based? We are on, percentage. So is it based on experience, or is it just based on me Correct. coming in as a new driver? So it'd be with us. Your experience is based on your steel hauling experience. Me with no steel hauling experience. What what will my percentage be? Are you a veteran? Uh, eight years. I mean, like a military veteran. Oh no, 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 ma'am, no, ma'am. Okay, so you would start at twenty four percent of the growth. Okay. We pay off the gross, which allows you to earn more. And then at six months, as long as you're doing what you're supposed to and doing good, then she'll bump it. She looks at it at six months, and then she'll look at it again at a year when we max out at 28%. And being paid off the gross is good. I mean, you make more money because we're paying you before we take ours. This will be home weekly? Guaranteed home every week. Um, once you're with us for six months, if you want to run heavy, we'll buy permits for you. So the more weight you haul, the more money you make. And you could possibly get home. If there's local available out of Cleveland at six months, then you'd be able to get home more, too. Now, would it just be for the 34 reset, or would I be able to take my two full, my two full days? <laughs> would that just be for my 34-hour reset, or would I be able to take my f two full days off? So it just depends on where um Usually you're going to leave on Sunday and you're back on Friday, but it's trucking stuff happens. I mean, you might get home depending on when you leave. If you if you leave Monday, then you might be back on Saturday. Uh, what about the equipment and where are they governed at? Governed at 72. We have International Freightliners at Kenworth. The oldest truck that we're giving out is uh, 2018. Okay. Cameras in the truck. Yes, but they only face outward. <laughs> That's a huge check mark. That's your home away from home. <laughs> uh, benefits, and when do they start? So benefits are at 90 days. They are through Aetna, and for employee only, you are covered 100% by PI and I for medical, dental, vision, life insurance, and disability. Uh, pet and rider policy, and how young can I bring my rider? Uh, pets under 25 pounds and legal spouse one week out of the year because they, i mean it's liability for the steel mills so do you guys have team opportunities there lease opportunities there team opportunities no and once you're with us for a year we can put you on a list for lease purchase type of sign-on bonuses for you know for drivers like me that's coming in or no no do you guys also have a terminal in pa because when I was trying to look up the company, I was trying to look up Ohio Pittsburgh. first. Yeah, okay. So is that the main terminal out of PA? No, your main terminal is in Majory. Oh, okay, okay. So the main terminal is in Ohio. Correct. Okay, okay. Awesome, awesome. So if I just want to pick up and, and uh, get the stuff rolling, uh, I, I just, what, go to the website, fill out the application, and, and we'll go from there? Correct. Yes. If you would like, I can email you some information over um, 401k too. The 401k, you're eligible at six months. We match 100% of each deposit up to 7% of your weekly earnings. If you have any other questions, just give me a call. I will do that. I will do that. Thank you. P.I. and I flatbed company out of Ohio. Yes, sir. What do you guys think of that call, man? Good information. Shout out to Malcolm McCurry for the call suggestion. Thank you very much for the coffee, brother, man. You requested this review of P.I. and I located out of Ohio. Let's get into it. Well, guys, they do accept SAP drivers, but you got to be at the return to duty status in order to come on, but it's also at a case by case basis, depending on what you got popped for. All right, the percentage pay is 24%. I know some of you guys gonna say that's pretty low, 
But you got to understand, if you don't have no flatbed experience or you don't have no uh, no steel experience, then you're going to have to come in and work your way up. She says that they'll look at it at six months and again at a year so you can get your percentage pay bumped up to a good salary. After six months or so, and if you're comfortable, they will switch you over to heavy haul and you will be able to make more money than, I mean, make more money for yourself. Also, if you like to be home every week, of course, you get home for probably your two days, but most definitely you get home for your 34. So if you get home on Friday, you'll probably get back out on Sunday. And if you get home on Saturday, you'll probably be leaving back out on Monday. P-I-N-I, -I, I, the information for you to get in contact with this company will be in the description below. Make sure you give them a call and find out what they can do for you. Drivers, if you driven or drove for P-I-N-I and, I, and you would like to share your experience, let us know in the comments below. Drivers, get your suggestions ready for the next MTC. You can do that by hitting me up in the email. That's Lockout Men Podcast Guests at gmail.com. Always leave it in the comments below. And if you like to support the cause, you can do that by hitting the cash app, dollar sign, lockout men. Let us know who you want us to call in the notes, and we will get it out there for you along with a shout out from you for us to make that call. Until next time, everybody. Who's next?